G'day all and welcome to the South African Law. Okay, yo, lekker. So welcome to another video. Thank you for tuning in. 600 subscribers. Thank you so much, everyone, for supporting my channel. A lot of stuff to follow. I really just want to thank you guys. So just have a look at this, guys. Another beautiful day in the western side of Johannes, the western suburbs, the Vusrand, you know. Um, so lekker day. And just have a look here, guys. Look at this lawn. It is a beautiful lawn, but I don't know for how long it's going to be still beautiful, whatever that thing is, um, because uh, we're having some hot temperatures, scorches, I'm telling you. Uh, the day before yesterday, about 32 degrees, yesterday about 33, 34 degrees, I see today will be no cooler than yesterday, um, so that's not ideal for this lawn, the Kukuyu Owens is like, yes, throw the desert weather at us, we will arrive okay and unfortunately uh, with a kukuyu um, starting to thrive also you will see an influx of these oakies broadleaf weeds because it's the start of summer and now they're starting to show their heads you know this oxalis that I've just shown you here is very easily mistaken for clover or all the guys always send me a message Merry Merry got clover in my lawn um, so that's not clover it's oxalis but no worries whatever you think it is all the broadleaf stuff or mo most of the broadleaf stuff are treated the same way so today I'm going to talk to you about our broadleaf weeds broadleaf herbicides and how easy it is to control them what you need to know and what you need to be careful of okay it's like going with your golfie around a corner at 100 kilometers per hour big no-no there's a couple of big no-no's when we talk about herbicides guys okay guys so let's put the jokes aside for a second or maybe not and let's talk about weeds in our lawns um, this video will be specifically directed to broadleaf weeds um, and the control of broadleaf weeds if you wanted to know how to uh, remove invasive grass species in your lawn I did a complete different video on that already a couple of months ago I think I called it invasive grasses or something like that so again have a look at that I'll try and put a card up there if I remember uh, but today I want to focus on broadleaf weeds uh, because those are the ones that really draws attention away from the good look of your lawn um, and can make it look untidy or ugly fairly quickly if you get what I'm saying okay so the first thing that I want to touch on is it doesn't have to be a two grand trip to a professional store somewhere to get someone to come and spray weeds in your yard it is actually fairly simple and you can do it with fairly simple products I've got a backpack sprayer but I just want to show you today that I'm going to use something like this for spraying my weeds um, it's maybe not ideal but it does the job almost just as good as a backpack sprayer um, I've used it numerous times before um, so the only thing that I really want to get to is I don't want to make a video where we use all this perfect products not that I've got all the perfect products or the professional products but I just want to show you you can really with most of the stuff that you've got at home this is like a 10 or 15 bucks um, like misting bottle that you get from checkers or Westpac or whatever and um, that you can spray the weeds in your lawn with. okay so let's talk about the products once again I'm going to use something a little bit more like professional grade which I've got from grasses and greens and I really recommend if you want to invest in your lawn uh, going for something like this thank you so much Sharon uh, I'll I get this stuff from Sharon grasses and greens just check there um, I've used this numerous times just works very well but you don't even have to go to that extent um, like this stuff you get at checkers builders warehouse whatever um, normal like bandweed stuff that you can get off the shelf at while you're doing your grocery shopping while you buy a a bruiki and milk okay and uh, instead of surfactant you could use something like dish soap I actually don't know why they call it this dishwashing liquid because I've never washed my dishes with this well maybe someone has here but I haven't I only use dishwashing liquid for garden purposes oops 
just want to show you these alternatives it doesn't have to be a big thing guys you can really get away with the stuff that you've got at home but let's talk about the where it gets a little bit more tricky the application of these products okay so now i'm sitting a little bit closer to the camera so that hopefully you take me a little bit more serious um so this product it is a broadleaf herbicide so just because it's aimed to kill broad leaves doesn't mean that your lawn likes it it doesn't mean that now ah please just throw broadleaf herbicide on me i like it i'm a grass and i like broadleaf doesn't work like that it still doesn't like it it's just broad leaves wheat likes it less so that's why it kills it so that's why we have got to stick to the application rate we've got to read this label unfortunately and this will tell us how much product to put into our bottle or sprayer and spray onto our lawns in order for the grass not to be burnt or hurt or killed Okay, so when I look at my lawn, I see about 30% of it being like likely infested with weeds, to be honest with you. And that will allow me to use a small sprayer like this to spot spray the weeds. In other words, I'll be going to where I see weeds and I will spray them and I'll move on to the next area where I see weeds instead of blanket spraying. I always say when we use especially broadleaf herbicides. Um, it's best to spot spray uh, because I don't see the point of spraying an area of lawn and stunting it where there is no wheat. Um, this is a post-emergence herbicide, so in other words, it'll only kill the stuff that already exists. So I don't see spraying it somewhere where there's no wheat. Even if there's going to be weeds coming up there, it'll have no point because it kills it on like contact. It dries on the leaf itself um, and that's where it does the magic. Okay, so let's just quickly talk again about the application ratio of this specific chemical and this is where people get it wrong. This one recommends 150, 150 ml of this herbicide liquid in 10 liters of water. My sprayers are 500 ml, so it's only a 20th of that. So I'll need a 20th of this product in a full bottle of water. So that'll be divided by 10 is 15 ml per liter and seven and a half mil that is so little seven and a half mil of this product in this bottle full of water and that is ready to be sprayed and then i add a surfactant so that it sticks to the leaf if that makes sense and this really i cannot stress enough this is where people get it wrong i've seen a couple of photos in the last while where people send in oh i've burned my lawn with herbicide and it could be a simple herbicide like this a broadleaf herbicide like this once again it doesn't mean your lawn likes it it's just the herbicide like the we likes the herbicide less um, or this broadleaf herbicide less so really really stick to that application rate and rather hey, and rather do two or three applications um, to like completely get rid of the weeds instead of going now I'm gonna go double and triple the rate um, and then you stunt your lawn or you hurt your lawn and you hurt my eyes and my feelings And then you add the opposite colors caps to the bottles so now they are two tone now that is adding value you know they sell it as a one tone but then i convert them into two tone and then we mix them lacquer like that and then you want to set your nozzle to a fine mist almost Just like that. Okay. 
golden there we go look at this oh okay so unfortunately the wind has picked up a little bit not like crazy but it's picked up a little bit you want to do this on the wind still day so that your mist doesn't blow all over the place um or your chemical and it kills your flowers and whatnot um so yeah now the fun part spraying it try not getting it in your face and your eyes um even the wind still day will help with that um so yeah what i recommend you do is you start on one part of your lawn and slowly work your way towards like the other side of the lawn so you don't double spray anything or miss anything um or throw some dye stain in here so it shows you where you've sprayed that blue um so you can see where you've sprayed but now the lacquer pot let's go for it need to stay in one spot for 10 minutes it's literally i'm going to do it for the second time now just for the explaining purposes but it's literally just a spray like that and you're good to move on Yeah, so that's the spraying done. Um, I've probably got about, I don't know, maybe a tenth, maybe a fifth of the product left uh, that I initially started with. And I sprayed all the weeds that I could see um, just quickly for far. So I'll probably walk with the excess that I've got there and spray all the ones that I've missed. But I just want to show you what the state of the weeds are in at the moment. And then we will try and do an update in a few days. Hopefully I get to uh, film that or don't put out the video before that. Um, so yeah, very exciting. I hope this works. I've done it in the past. Had very good success. So I can't see a reason why it will not work. Um, so I don't know from this angle. Oh, you can't see much of the weeds. Yeah, you can see when you get close up and there's that area that's heavily infested. Uh, mostly oxalis. Some other different stuff. Um, but yeah, I can't really spot them right now. So mostly oxalis. Let's see the results. I'll see you in two or three days. But for you, only in a second. All right, so it is approximately a week later. Yes, yeah, probably five, six, yeah, maybe a week later uh, after the, I did the initial application. 
And then about three days later, about three days ago, I came through with another application on the spots that I've missed. Not going over the spots that I've treated. The spots that I missed, only a couple here and there, especially there um, at the end that I've missed. I, I sprayed again. But I just want to show you, I think approximately here was that area where I had a ton of those oxalis. Oh, right here. Just have a look there. Um, you can see those basically all died off um, those that are still there would probably be probably die off still maybe not it's already a week so I might have to come with a slight um, second application over those areas and treat them again and they should be gone for good so I just want to show you the grass does yellow off a little bit I have cut about three days ago so as you can see there, yellowing of the grass blades, this is what I did about three days ago, I haven't cut since. So, but with your next mow, you just cut those yellowing of the blades off. So it does yellow the grass a little bit, but if you stay with the application rate, that's the most important thing. You won't kill your lawn. Guys, don't make that mistake, don't over apply, rather apply two or three times, about two or three weeks apart from each other and you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, because just, just look how good like this area was infested also yelling of the uh, grass blades but um, now looking a lot better after I mowed it so you're mowing that yellow tips off um, but great 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 results now the second thing to deal with is heat stress um, as you can see there well you can't see it properly but like look here heat stress guys it is like very warm so yeah but I think for spraying the weeds and getting rid of my broadleaf weeds that is a pretty big success just want to show you something else that um, might be a little bit of an issue okay so these bottles are very good and I did all of this with this bottle two of them so it sprays wonderful this is now clean water I rinse it out however my problem is when you aim it down and that little pipe that sucks the liquid in um, is out of the water then it obviously has air in it so as you lift it up you get like one or two squirts that looks like that and that I don't like so um, that's just something to keep in mind so the proper sprayer does work a little bit better but nothing wrong with this nothing wrong with this if you don't want to spend the money don't get an abstract sprayer don't do all of those things but apply a product with a bottle like that hundreds and good to go so pretty big success I don't know what do you think and if you can't decide, I'll decide for you. It's a great success, okay? Right, guys, that's going to wrap up the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't bore you in this video. I hope you found it interesting. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, maybe click the bell and the subscribe button so you get notified when I post another video. Tons of videos to follow. Thank you so much once again to everyone watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.